in this video we are going to study our next type of uh, spillway that is uh, called as a trap spillway or tube spillway <music> You can see in this diagram first we will discuss about the plan or a, a total plan of the trough spillway here you can see the dam will be constructed in the particular region in this particular topography your upstream flow will be carried out here and your downstream flow will be here your river and the natural water resources that will be carried out the flow is here you can see uh, the various uh, or the depression will be uh, or by uh, locating the various RL on this plan you can uh, get the idea that after uh, or uh, it will be provided uh, generally uh, either along a dam abutments or through a saddle section saddle that means a depression section you can see here the crest will be provided crest will be provided so that the water that will be carried out okay so this water uh, that will be carried out it will be passing over this crest and uh, again this spillway this is the spillway section this is the trough spillway section which is spillway section you can see at the upper section it will be a wider and the lower section it will be a narrower one and the you the final flow that will be again connected to our river section here the systematic view will be shown here you are giving and you are providing a sufficiently hard strata and hard channel to the chute or trough spillway this this overall platform and this overall channel section will be laid down on the inclined portion when you have a steep abutments and when your abutments are located on the slope se sloped section and the saddle section then you can provide this slope open channel this is an open channel this is not a closed one so you can provide this uh, uh, open channel uh, which is uh, helpful and which is constructed for passing the surplus water from the upstream side and from the uh, dam section up to the to the downstream section so this portion is generally kept as a wider one and the, the bottom portion that will be kept as a narrower one so here the section will be shown the section will be shown the water that will be having or that carries the highest level over here so through this section the base of the you can see the base of the care tube or trough speedway can be provided and can be made up of with the concrete blocks so that the uh, water that will be carrying out the kinetic energy it will not affect on this bed channel and uh, properly the water will uh, carried out uh, safely and it will be connected and it will be passed to the downstream section so let's see what is exactly the or what are the function and what are the uh, importance of this tube for trough spillway. See this type of a spillway is the one which passes the surplus discharge through a slope, steep slope, steep slope, open channel called a tube spillway. And uh, through this trough or through this tube which is placed either along a dam abutments or a, through a saddle so basically uh, the it, it requires it can be placed either along the dam along the dam where, uh, along the dam abutments which are located on the steep slope area so uh, if such type of a topography we have so we can adopt this tube for truck spillway type See, uh, this is generally adopted for earthen and rock fill dam only and it is isolated from a main dam. It is isolated. It is not constructed in between the body of the dam. It will be isolated. It will be located further the distance uh, of the dam structure. You can see in this, in this diagram. 
so uh, generally uh, its crest is kept normal to its crest line its center line it's normal to the center line it consists of a discharge channel to the river in an excavated trench which is usually paved with the concrete in a hole or in a part so the discharge channel that will be called as a tube section this is your discharge channel so it consists of this discharge channel directly which connects to the river section and it is constructed it is excavated a uh, this excavated part we have to excavate this and it is usually constructed given as a rigid body that will be constructed by a concrete wholly or partly then the crest or the spillway proper is usually of a insignificant height or actually flat which is shown in this figure the crest or the spillway the proper is spillway proper is usually of a insignificant height or the actually flat see basically uh, this uh, is some sometimes of a constant width but usually given as a narrowed for the economy this section will be given as a narrowed section for the economy as well as uh, widened near the end to reduce the discharge velocity the factors that are influencing the selection of chute spillways are the simplicity of their design and construction as well as their adaptability to almost any foundation condition and the overall economy often obtained by the use of a large amount of a spillway excavation in the dam embankment so these are the factor that by analyzing all these factors we uh concluded and we have decided that we can use the chute or trough spillway so this is the one of the best and one of the good type of a spillway we can say now let's say the siphon spillway see uh, instead of uh, allowing water to spill over the crest of a dam generally the spillway is the overflow one so the water is has a tendency to spill over the such type of a uh, uh, structure but here in this siphon spillway the surplus amount of the water may be discharged downstream through a siphon spillway consisting of one or more siphon how let's see see uh, it is placed either along a dam abutment or a through a saddle see shaft spillway is also located on the saddle the side channel is also located on the saddle uh, through the saddle as well as uh, your chute or trough spillway is also located on the saddle or the abutment area but the abutment condition is different for the each and every type of spill so here also the siphon will be constructed and siphon will be provided uh, generally uh, either along a side of the or either along a dam abutments or uh, through a saddle see generally a siphon spillway consists of a closed conduit system formed in the shape of an u shape inverted u shape which is positioned so that inside of the bend of the upper passageway is at the normal reservoir level i will show you this diagram this is this is the siphon that generally the siphon spillway the basic uh, siphon spillway uh, that will be having consisting or it is a closed conduit you can see this is the siphon and it is a closed conduit but it is placed in the inverted u shape you, you can see the inverted u shape has uh, given to this see it is position such that it's it's a uh, highest point and it's a uh, upper passageway this b point is generally kept at the normal reservoir level okay when the water level in this re reservoir start increasing or it rises above its normal level this water flows over the crest this water flows over the crest then uh, and their siphonic action take place once the water will get increase you can see here this this 
up to it will increase uh, here then definitely the siphonic action will be taken place and by this siphonic action the surplus uh, water that will be carried out that will be discharged away from this a point and it will be carried out through this c and through this outlet section so generally we need to give we need to provide a, a sufficient height to uh, give the uh, or to uh, form the siphonic action properly see the continuous flow is then maintained by suction effect due to the gravity pull of a water in the lower leg of the siphon so the continuous flow will be maintained because of the gravity pull or gravity suction of the water through this siphon which is placed in the body of the dam so in that manner this siphon spillways are carried out there Uh, work so uh, see uh, generally this is uh, uh, generally these are having a two types again the uh, saddle siphon spillway and volute siphon spillway this is the saddle siphon in this saddle siphon also we have a hooded type hooded means what this water once it will get raised up this is passing above this crest and generally this crest area will be provided consist of the various component you can see here so hooded the water system is been provided here water which is passed through this it will be get deprime <laughs> the primer is also provided because continuous flowing continuous having the kinetic energy because of such a reason this portion will get affected so we need to provide the priming as well as we need to provide a depriming also here air vent will be provided above this section so that the air bubble that will be created because of the continuous or this will be totally depends upon the siphonic action hence we need to give such type of arrangement so once the water will get increased this will be passing over this crest and it will be come here this lip will be provided and again by exerting the pressure on this portion the hydraulic jump will be created on this and this uh, uh, again towards the tail water section towards the downstream section this water will get carried out this is a tilted outlet type this is constructed in the inside the body of the tap here we have discussed earlier see the next that is a volute siphon it will be looks like a shaft spillway but uh, generally it is uh, it is generally consist of a dome section then it is having a funnel you can see here the funnel is provided so pillars that will be provided for taking the uh, that portion that uh, that strength and the uh, weight of that particular uh, spillway siphon spillway it is also constructed in the body of the dam so you can see here this uh, dome has the uh, will be provided in the level of the normal reservoir once the water will get increased uh, through this uh, lip through this uh, dome area it will get uh, passing through this uh, funnel and then this water will carried out on the outlet section so generally we need to study only the siphon spillway how it will carry out the or how it will be uh, performing their work and generally we are looking the two types that is a saddle siphon and volute siphon spillway so this is among, along uh, or amongst this we have a uh, another important type of a spillway that is a op spillway in next recording we are going to study about this thank you for watching this video